when we've looked at the inside here, <clears throat> these are the two hoses coming up. We've got this one marked for the bottom hose, so we know this goes to the bottom of the reservoir. This is the return line, so that goes to the top. We've just kind of draped them over here for right now. It looks like um, the best place to put the reservoir. So we've got, we have four fittings. We've got two on the bottom, two on the top. The ones on the bottom, I don't know if you can see in here or not, we had molded with a plug in place. That way you can choose which side you want to go, you know, depending on your vehicle. The top ones you always use. Um, one thing that we have been doing is reaming these out just a little bit. They should have been a quarter inch, but they shrank just a little bit. So for maximum flow, I recommend carefully taking a quarter inch drill bit and just reaming those out. I'm going to do that in a few minutes and I'll show you again. And then we're going to choose, we're going to mount this right here. It got as good a place as any, makes access easy. I can see the, the fill lines here. We're going to come up from the bottom on this side and then we're going to go back out the top. So these two will connect up here, the bottom will go to there. We're going to come out here towards the filter. The lower one on the right hand side here is not going to be used. We're going to leave that plugged. And then we're going to come off of here and this is the uh, dry filter. It's uh, permanently sealed so don't try to open it. These are uh, disposable at this point. So the way this works is use the bottom use the bottom to go in from the reservoir then this one goes out to your air filter intake okay so the best way to mount this get your reservoir down as low as you can i'm gonna we'll put a bracket together for this here we'll mount this here and then this basically going to come in something like this okay we want we want this bottom bracket the bottom barb to go to this barb here best to keep it above with a slight angle back towards the reservoir that way any moisture that's trapped in this because it will the moisture will be trapped here at the filter it's a one micron filter it'll be trapped here at the end of the day, when you turn the vehicle off, the moisture trap will then drain back down into your reservoir, and that just prevents you from wasting a lot of water and steam. It's gonna be just the hydrogen and oxygen that get into the engine, and also it prevents any alkaline um, trace, which is in the gas, you can smell it. It filters that alkaline trace out so that it keeps it off of your aluminum throttle bodies and any parts of your engine.